Right. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever to all our overseas friends who join us from all over the world. Right. So uh, once again, I'd like to thank you for joining us for our live webinar on the price action trading strategies that work. Right. My name is Stephen Ong, your speaker for tonight's uh, webinar session. So I'm an account uh, manager with the uh, Philip Futures and uh, Philip Investment Specialist with Philip Securities. So uh, if you'd like to engage me as your uh, investment specialist, you can uh, contact me, right? So uh, my contact will be uh, given at the end of this webinar. So uh, before we begin, um, just like to do a sound check, so uh, to check whether uh, everyone can hear me loud and clear. So uh, if you can hear me loud and clear, just type yes into the uh, chat box or the question box. So uh, also during this, the webinar, if you have any question about this webinar or about our products or our services or about NT5, um, do type them into the question box and I will try to address them during the uh, Q&A session at the end of this uh, webinar. Okay, looks like uh, everyone can hear me loud and clear. So I will begin the uh, tonight's webinar uh, from now on. <clears throat> right. Uh, good evening again, everyone. So again, th thank you again for taking time off on your busy schedule to attend this webinar. So for those who just join in, right. Um, my name is Stephen Ong, right? Again, your speaker for tonight's session. So I'm um, delighted and honored to share with a topic which I'm passionate about, and that is uh, trading stocks, CFD, FX, and uh, commodities market with these uh, price action trading strategies using the MT5 uh, or the Meta Trader 5 platform, right? In short, MT5 trading platform, right? So uh, for those who are new to trading, all right, Philly Future is the first company to introduce the uh, MT5 trading platform to traders in Singapore. So uh, not only is MT5 the most uh, advanced trading platform available in Singapore, right, it is also completely free to use with zero commission transaction costs and amazing functionalities and features. So MT5 is not only the most sophisticated and user-friendly trading platform ever introduced in Singapore, but uh, it is also the uh, best trading platform ever conceived and uh, specially designed and built for retail traders like you and me. So that is, uh, and it's also absolutely free to use and uh, no platform fee, no data fees or and uh, involved. And also it's most uh, importantly, it's uh, zero commission. Right, so MT5 combines all the most advanced technology of order execution and um, distribution computations, right, from, you know, the, as to algo and all the kind of stuff so that you can create and implement your most ambitious trading ideas with the click of a mouse. So what are you waiting for? Right, so scan our QR code and uh, download a free copy from our website for this MT5 and try all this uh, uh, trading platform and uh, choose and trade with the most advanced trading platform in Singapore. Okay, just a brief intro of myself before I uh, proceed on to this webinar. Okay, so this is uh, um, again for those who just uh, managed to join in. Right, my name is uh, Stephen Ong again. So I a uh, stocks and uh, forex broker. I've been awarded for contributions over the years as a CFD specialist with Philip. And I also been invited by SJ to share my knowledge expertise about investing and trading with uh, all the interested investors. Right, so tonight my goal is uh, very simple, right? That is to assist traders like you who are interested in developing a solid trading strategy suitable to trading, right, to your trading interests and your risk tolerance and resources. So at the same time, remain flexible enough so that we can capitalize on the market opportunity when they arises. So I hope that uh, we're able to provide traders and those who are listening in this webinar 
the um, financial market news and update in a timely fashion so that you know when the opportunity arises traders are able to capitalize and uh, you know, realize their financial objective while effectively managing their trading risk okay so my aim tonight is uh, quite straightforward right I want to equip traders and all the audience listening they uh, to benefit financially from my experience knowledge enthusiasm in trading FX futures CFD and through this uh, working relationship right be able to develop better understanding of principal factors and events that may affect the price movement and price actions right so for traders who'd like to embark on this trading journey you may do remember to sign up for a mt5 account at the end of this session by scanning the qr code so uh by the end of this webinar i hope that we're able to uh, start on a win-win business partnership and share many successful stories to come right so uh tonight's proceeding will be as follows Tonight's proceeding will be as follows so tonight the uh first section of the uh seminar i'll touch on the main topic of the night that is the uh price action trading right how to use the uh, price action techniques to analyze and to determine and identify entry exit signals um, that is beneficial for traders and I also cover important price action concepts and trading principles which is essential to uh, for the uh, successful trading in uh, using price action methodology and I'll cover the uh, process right for price action trading so that traders can utilize this strategy in the trading so after which i will cover try to answer your questions about the uh, topic for tonight that is a price action trading strategies so do remember your type in your all your question into the question box and i will try to answer all your questions in case if i'm not able to um, answer your question out email the reply or your response to you by email uh, within the next uh, 28, 24 to 48 hours. Okay. And lastly, if time permits, I will do a MT5, Meta Trader 5 demonstration how to use the MT5 and how you submit orders and how you um, apply what you learned tonight into um, to the MT5 platform, right? To re read and analyze the uh, price action charts. Right, so uh, price action trading. Okay, so when it comes to price action trading, um, price action pattern to most traders, do you think of is it a morning star, hammer, hanging man, or is it a uh, head and shoulders? So uh, just in case if somebody is, is uh, wondering, head and shoulders is not a shampoo, right? Head and shoulders is a price action pattern. So now this are uh, kind of essential patterns for beginner traders to know so for traders who want to take your price action trading strategy to the next level then stay tuned to this webinar right so in that's why in this tonight webinar you discover five price action strategy which i personally use so these strategies will help traders to hone and improve their trading entries in market reversals, market trend continuation, and uh, price breakout situations. So are you ready? So take a deep breath, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the webinar. So without further ado, let's begin this class. So the first strategy which I touch on is the breakout with a range consolidation price section trading strategy. Okay, this strategy will help traders to determine highly probably successful uh, price action breakouts okay so this is the range consolidation breakout a highly successful trading strategy which i use so the next slide will show you the concept behind these uh, price action strategies so so as you can see here in the price trade um, 
between the uh, support reason for a couple of times when the price consolidate and um, it trades between the resistance and the support level. So you can see here the the dotted line right at the top is this is the resistance level, right? And uh, right at the bottom, the another parallel level of dotted line. This is the support level. So you can see the prices trade within this range, went up and then fell back, right? So the price price action met with this strong resistance level at the top and then pull back and then it range for this and start to consolidate for a while. So for bearish traders who think that the market will fall further, will try to attempt to short at this resistance level. So they went short and um, you know prices went up. So at this second try here, right, those who are bearish about the market, you think that you know maybe the pattern will repeat itself and fall back to the support level. They try to sell at this uh, resistance level. Okay, so these are the bearish trader. So, but the uh, market was kind of uh, strong. So there's a uh, sufficient market support in the in the in this price action. So the market ranges and consolidate. Right. So as more bearish trader was attracted to this kind of uh, trade process and trade reasoning, you add in their shorts and you, right, so they add in their shorts and uh, accumulate more sh selling uh, positions. So what this means also that the stop loss order from your short position will also increase above the high of the resistance, right, so the resistance level as you can see here is the dotted line over here. So the, as they take up more short position, the, there will be more buy stop orders um, right at the top of the uh, resistance level. So when this happened, right, um, as the time passed, right, um, two things will will occur, right, will take place for these uh, both bearish and um, traders who are taking the contrarian view, which are bullish. So for bullish traders, do you try to buy on the breakout of this uh, major uh, resistance level, right? So this is the major resistance level. So when this happens, right, the uh, bearish traders who are taking short will try to sell at this recent level as a price constantly further right so there's a battle going on between the bullish and bearish trader and uh, the most important or the most crucial moment will occur when the price right breaks above this recent level right so as you can see here right with the uh, red circle here so uh, when the price breaks above this uh, crucial recent level the uh, cluster of stop loss that we have accumulated earlier when the uh, bearish trade was shorting it will get triggered, right? So when this happened, right, all the the bearish traders were shorting will scramble to exit their short trades. Okay, so this will further exacerbate and trigger the upside and the price will continue to rally, right? So the price action now it breaks up and um, you continue to rise right until it hits another major recent level and then you start to pause and consolidate again okay so this is the uh, range breakout uh, price action which i use so uh, we can apply the same concept for the uh, short trade right so this is a long trade so uh, so for bullish trader you'll try to buy on the upside on the uh, above the uh, recent level and for for contrarian traders who think that the uh, price may fall from the resistance, right, they will do a short. So that is the bearish traders. Okay, so this is the range breakout trades for the uh, price action. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the uh, example and how to apply this range breakout price action strategy. Okay, so here is the uh, concept behind the uh, right the range breakout price action trading strategy. So you can see this is the uh, dollar cat chart, the USDCAD chart. Okay, so it trades between the uh, uh, support recent level, right? For a couple of times, went up, pull back, went up, pull back, right? So um, uh, okay, the recent level is about around around one point three four zero zero. Okay, so prices uh, met with a strong recent level at this level and you consolidate and um, build up the uh, price momentum and the uh, this consolidation also uh, took a few uh, candlesticks to occur. So you can see that this price consolidation 
uh, did not happen overnight. It takes a while for this to uh, take place. Right, so at this uh, important major recent level, there are okay, two types of trader again. So the bearish and the bullish trader will come and fight the battle. Right, so those who believe that price will turn bearish at the major recent level, we try to short right at around 1.34. Right, so this is the uh, first type of traders. Right, they try to attempt to short dollar cap because they believe dollar cap may fall, right, which it did previously, right, from this level and then pull back to the middle of the chart here. Right, so now they believe that the pattern will repeat itself and may fall from the recent level of 1.34. So they went short and set their stop above the high of resistance of 1.34. So now as the uh, dollar cat consolidates and more bearish traders will add poly in the short, this also means that the uh, again the buy stop order will also accumulate above the recent zone of 1.3400. Right, so again at the um, the resistance level area of this 1.3400, right, two things again will occur. So for those who are bullish on dollar cat, you buy on the breakup of the resistance level of 1.34. Okay. Well, and when the price break above the resistance level around, around 1.34, which is the major resistance area, right, prices uh will trigger the uh, huge buy stop orders which have been um, accumulated right because the uh, short sellers have been shorting this uh, dollar cat right for the past few candlesticks so this uh, huge accumulated volume of uh, buy stop orders will further add fuel into this uh, fire and uh, create more demand for dollar cat as a result the price action breaks above the 1.3400 level right so prices went higher so as you can see on this chart right so this uh right so after that you know prices continue ready until you know hit the another major recent level and then prices will consolidate so so this right uh, to all my audience this is your price consolidation price action trading strategy Right. So to recap this strategy, so um, here is how to spot this uh, range consolidation breakout breakout price action. So uh, first thing first is that the price action is in the range, right? It has to range between the major support recent level, right? So long the longer this uh, price action consolidate, the further the price will breaks, right? And it will move, right? In a much faster and more vicious uh, breakout when it occurs. So as long as the price action concept is at the resistance, the, the candlestick will behave in a very, very tight range. So the candlestick will get smaller and smaller. So you can see that during the price action consolidation phase, you can see the candlestick, candlesticks, the size are much smaller compared to the previous range whereby the uh, prices, uh, the candlesticks are much bigger and longer right so the tighter the range of the candle the better it is for breakout trader we're using this strategy because uh, chances are the price is a uh, poised for breakout right so for bullish traders who uh, go long right when price breaks over the major recent level right the uh, trader will reference the lows of the uh, price action uh, to put their stop loss Okay, so this will give a trader a much favorable uh, risk reward ratio. Okay, so trader will find a breakout over at the major recent level and then they will put a stop somewhere below the uh, price consolidation area. Okay, and then they try to write out on the upside. Okay, so this is the first strategy, the uh, range breakout price action strategy. Okay, the next strategy we will touch on now is the uh, Breakout failure price action strategy. Okay, this is a price uh, reversal strategy that allows traders to uh, sell high and buy low for traders who are bearish or for better traders who are bullish on the market, they try to buy low and then sell high. Okay, so this is um, right breakout failure. So let's take a look at how, how this uh, price action strategy works. 
Right, so um, you can see here from this simple chart that the price action takes a uh, very strong move into resistance and then it you know uh, pulls back, it hits the recent level, pull back to support level, right? So uh, after that, prices uh, continue to rise to test the uh, uh, recent level again. Okay, so for this, right, many bullish traders will think that the total process is that the market is bullish and that they will try to buy again, right? So look at all the big uh, green candles. So it's time to buy and buy. So usually they try to buy and break out using the first strategy you touch on, right? That's the range breakout, right? So they try to buy out the uh, red circle here. So what happens is that, um, you know, sometimes um, it's, the uh, price may not continue rating and instead it, it sell and pull back. And as a result, right, um, it triggers all the sell stop order which the bullish traders have placed below uh, the consolidation area. As a result, their stops are triggered and price will fall below their previous candlestick low or below the support level and continue to fall. So when this occurs, the price is taking a sudden um, trend reversal from bullish to bearish. Right, as you can see here from this. Uh, uh, Top right hand corners uh, circle here, right prices rally and then it felt touch, touches the uh, recent level and then I uh, failed to rise any further and then prices fell. Okay, so this cluster of stop that has been triggered is usually consolidated below the uh, support level, uh, below the uh, the uh, minor support level. So when that's triggered, right, that means there's more supply, more sellers into the market and prices will fall and usually may pull back to the uh, support level, which is uh, right at the bottom here. You can see that the dotted line at the bottom. Okay, so when these bearish traders step into the market right here, try to sell near the highs of this resistance level, right? And um, the price action will, will happen that uh, you tend to slide lower and right, this will wipe up the gains that the bullish traders have maybe accumulated when they try to buy low over here from the first red circle at the middle of the screen, okay? So this is how the uh, all right break breakout price action failure price pattern work. Right, so you apply the same um, concept for the uh, long trade. Okay, so uh, so once you understand the process behind this uh, false breakout price action, let's uh, take a look at the uh, example in the next slide, and um, so we have a clear picture on how to apply this uh, breakout failure strategy. Right, this is a GBP JBY daily chart, which is a pound yen chart. Right, so basically it's a daily chart. So the price action happens that uh, make a strong move from support to a recent level, the major resistance zone. Right, so the uh, the major support around this level is about one point four nine. So uh, roughly the support level at the bottom here, you can see uh, at the bottom of the screen here, it is about one point four zero. Okay, so prices uh, test a couple of times and um, tend to uh, try to, you know, uh, appreciate higher. But then at this point, many bullish uh, traders who have a bullish view on this point will tend to go long, right? Using maybe my first strategy, and then they think that uh, based on the thing uh, trading process, uh, at around the recent June at 149, prices may continue to rise when it breaks above. So what happens is that this group of bullish traders will try to buy a price break above this 149. And you know, to usually they put a stop you know, the below the previous candlestick low or below the support level. So what happens is that, um, okay, when this happened, right, um, right, prices, do not rally up, right? Test a few times, try to break above the 149, the major resistance level, but then, you know, prices now continue to rally like the first strategy itself. So instead, prices fell, right? There's a pullback, All right? So this is the uh, right breakout failure, right? So it's a breakout failure price action, okay? So as you can see here, in fact, the uh, price action for this uh, pound yen is very interesting because uh, before the this uh, breakout failure, you can see here on the right side of the chart, right, uh, there's a 
a couple of times the uh, price has tried to break above the uh, 149 level. You can see here uh, uh, there's this red candle, right? Great followed before the red candle, there's this green candle here, right? Those who are bullish will try to buy at this breakout, but then it, the uh, breakout did not sustain itself and then prices fell back right below the 149 level again. And then try about a couple of times and on third time, right? Again, it fell. Right, so the confirmation you can see here is it, with this uh, red uh, candlestick right with the inside the red box. So this is the uh, right breakout trade. Right, this is the breakout failure here. Right, it's just confirmed that this price pattern is a breakout failure for 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 the bearish trader. It will be a successful trade, but for back for the bullish trader, right? To them, this is a uh, Right, the false breakout for them. So for for bearish traders who missed the first or the second breakout, right, right, because after that subsequently the second breakout it pulled back, and then prices ready up again with this strong bullish momentum here. You can see this long green candlestick, and then um, for bearish trader who foresee that uh, who missed the first breakout failure will you foresee that this second breakout failure action will take advantage of this sell down, right? They will maybe add in more selling pressure to this uh, pound yen. So as a result, the pound yen action will continue to slide lower and um, perhaps wipe out the uh, bearish traders, right? Their, their, their gains that they committed earlier. So, uh, so in short, right, this is how the uh, right breakout price action failure patterns work. So, and, uh, so you apply the same concept behind for for a long trade right vice versa for long trade strategy so this is for short trades right so for short trades right is a breakout failure for short side right this is a more beneficial for uh, bearish traders okay so to recap this uh, process right the thinking the top process between this uh, breakout failure is that uh, first the traders will look for a strong bullish momentum right you try to break into the uh, major resistance zone right so how they do that is they try to look for green candlesticks so the longer it is the bigger it is the better is the momentum so you can see here on the right side of the screen you have this strong bullish momentum this green candlestick which tells the market that this is a strong momentum, right? So uh, prices try to, and uh, those who are bullish will try to jump in uh, even before the prices test the uh, resistance uh, level, okay? So once the price take, take out the extreme high of the resistance, right? So uh, that means that the, 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 the bullish traders will attempt to buy the upside breakout. Right, so this is, uh, you know, they try to let this price continue on the momentum to carry upside. And uh, but for bearish traders, you wait for the false break pattern, right? And then they try to short on this level. So they look for confirmation. So instead of being uh, looking for a green long green candlestick, they look for red, well, red candlestick. The longer or the bigger it is, the better. So you can see that um, on the right hand side of the screen, right, uh, you have this long candlestick inside the box, right, which I just highlighted. So this is the confirmation candlestick. The uh, bearish traders will look for, right? They will try to short. Right, maybe there was a lot of these red candlesticks and then uh, prices fell. Okay, so you can see that even before that, the first break, first break of failure, we have this long red candlesticks and then followed by a second smaller red candlestick and then you know, the third candlestick and then prices fell again, right, on the downside. So this to you is the uh, break of failure um, price action strategy, okay? So the third strategy we are touch on now is the break and test um, trend continuation price action strategy, which uh, this will allow bullish traders who miss the first breakout price action another chance to enter the market, right? Take part in the um, in the early formation of uh, uh, bullish uptrend. Right. So let's take a look at how this uh, break and test strategy works. 
Right, so as you see on this chart, the price pattern trades between the spot resistance level, right? You're gonna right when you you know trading, you're gonna see this kind of pattern repeats out over and over again. So when the prices hit the resistance level, there's some bearish trader who think was short at resistance level, but some will buy at the spot level for bullish traders. Right, so the range itself it provides an indication that the market is poised for a breakout. Now, if the price breaks above the resistance level, there'll be a group of short traders, right? And um, will be in the red, right? Because the stock will be, right, immediately cut the positions, okay? So, uh, however, there will be some short traders or bearish traders who are quote unquote stubborn, right? So they try to hold your short and hope for the best and try, hope, they are hoping that the price will fall back to their entry price. Right, so what that happens is that right prices break out and then uh, prices pull back. So you can see on this red line and this red arrow, right? So this pullback is what I call the test strategy. So it's break and then you test, right? So break and then you test the breakout level. So this breakout level is the uh, level which turns from recent level to support level. Okay, so this is the uh, breakout level is defined as the uh, resistant turn support level. Okay, so what happens is that they'll break, they'll try to exit right at this break even right. So uh, when that happens, right for the bear shadow who, who shorted and then they are quote unquote stubborn and then hold to the short positions, prices ready. So now prices pull back. So now is the uh, opportune time, the only chance for them to get out of the short positions before prices ready. So when that happens, they'll try to exit their trades. And this will create a demand for the contract they are trading, right? So the demand order will come in, that means there'll be more buyers, buy orders will happen at around the support level. So what happens is that at this support level, right, right the, the bearish trader will cover their shots and then you add in more fire, right, more, more oil into the fire and then as a result, the prices rarely and then it breaks higher, okay? So with this in mind, the bullish will look for buy opportunity at this uh, previous recent level, which is mountain support, right, for levels around to to enter into the market, right. If they miss the first uh, entry point, right, the first breakout. So this is the level, the breakout level, which they will try to look for, right, to uh, re-enter the trade if they miss the first level, right. So with this, right, when they have when they apply this strategy, they will, you know. Most likely, you be uh, using a very low risk entry, right, um, to enter into this new uptrend, right. So next, we'll take a look at example and how this uh, break and test strategy works. Okay, we'll look at this um, pound cat daily chart, GBP CAD, right. So the recent level is around one point six two. 1 1 right, so this is the recent level is around 1.6211. So the be bearish trader would think that okay, this is the major recent level, so they try to short right at this level. So the first batch of bearish trader, you'll try to make a good trade because these are uh, false breakout failure, which I touched on in the first strategy. Prices try to rally and then it failed to right rise any further higher, so the prices fell. So we sh those who shorted around this uh, recent level, one point, around 1.62, will benefit from the pullback on the price. Okay, so we can see this is confirmed with a red candlestick on the downside, right? Prices fell after it tested the recent level at 1.62. So however, the, uh, right, so the second price break above the, uh, above the recent level and it continues to rise higher. So for the second batch of short sellers, right, uh, bearish traders, right, they will be in the red. Okay, so if they short at now the uh, level 1.62, now they, if they don't use stop loss and then they, you know, if they are quote unquote stubborn, right, they want to hold on to your short, the only chance they can get back at the, uh, you know, cover their short positions to, if you wait for the price to pull back at the, uh, resistance to support level, which is the breakout level 1.62. So if the price pull back to this level, right, this is the level whereby the uh, short sellers will cover the shorts, right, turn, right, close your short, and then and maybe if they are smart enough, they'll close and turn from short to long. Okay, so this is uh, 
where the pullback will happen, right? If I can see it at most two, two to three times, tested this uh, breakout level right on the right side of the screen. So it tests and tests and tests, and then prices con from there on prices continue to rally. So if that happens, right, this uh, the shortest, right, the short sellers, right, the who shorted this uh, uh, pound cat will attempt to exit at this uh, support level, and then. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, right, this will add in more demand for this um, uh, Forex pass, right, pound cat, and, uh, and also create opportunity for bullish traders who maybe have missed the first breakout, right, for, to look for second or third opportunities to enter at the, uh, at the uh, support level, at this uh, breakout level at 1.62, okay. So this is uh, how the uh, break and test level price action strategy works. Right, so to recap, right, price action, the uh, breakout of uh, resistance, right, and it makes a pullback towards the uh, breakout level. So the breakout level like I mentioned is whereby the previous resistance now support and this test level Right, the price test this level again at this uh, price breakout level, right? And uh, usually it has the uh, bullish candlestick, like maybe a, a formation of a hammer or a bullish harami. Okay, so for those who are familiar with Japanese candlestick pattern, these are the price pattern that uh, the bullish traders will be looking out for. And also the bullish trader will then try to go along at the high of the previous candlestick, right? So this is how the uh, British trader will apply this uh, break and test uh, price action strategy, right? So they apply the same concept for shorting, right? Just do the reverse for this, right? Apply the same concept and uh, turn on the short side. Okay, so this is break and test. So the uh, okay, the fourth strategy we are touch on now is the uh, break and pullback. Okay, so this is the break and pullback uh, price action uh, strategy. So this is a variation of the previous strategy we touched on. It is the break and test price action. Okay, so this is also a price continuation price action pattern that allows traders to capture maybe possibly the uh, majority price movement of a trend. Right, so this is a price and pullback pattern. Okay, again, it's a variation of the uh, break and test price action. So let's take a look at how this uh, strategy works. Okay, so the uh, break and pullback strategy is one of my favorite trading strategies, right? So uh, this is how it works. First, the price, right, again, consolidates itself. And then uh, once it breaks above resistance level, usually above the major resistance level, Right, with a big and long green bullish candlestick, right, prices will rally. And then subsequently, for traders who are long early in the breakout, right, some of them may take their bank in their profit, right, so they will liquidate some of the long. So as a result of that, there'll be some selling pressure in the price action, then, and that occurs when seller comes in, right, to take profit, the price may pull back, as you can see on this red line with this uh, red arrow. So bullish trader will think twice that price is really too much and they will be about to pull back low, lower. Okay. However, the major difference between this strategy and the one before is that the pullback level you not touches the breakout level. Okay, so the pullback is much more shallow compared to the previous strategy where the price pulled back right all the way back to the uh, breakout level. Right, so this is the major difference. Okay, price break and pullback is that the pullback is not far enough to test the breakout level. Okay, so this is the major difference. Okay, so now if the pullback is lower, the bearish traders will make a quick game on these short trades. Right, so this is uh, all right, break and pullback level. Okay, so once the uptrend continues, right. Um, as you can see from here, so uh, prices pull back and then it prices rally. So all the stop loss above the swing high, <clears throat> right, they will be triggered, right? So those were shorting and then they did not cover, right? As previous case, right? In this case, they will be triggered as a result. There will be more demand in the market and then price continue to rally. 
Okay, so this could create demand for the long orders. And as a result, there'll be more buying pressure on the, uh, on the uh, prices. Okay, so for those who traders who miss on the first breakout, right, on the first breakout on the uh, recent level, right, you usually wait for the pullback on the price section. So you buy on the pullback or the second breakout of the swing high, right? So if you add in other deal, you enter or those who enter and then they may want any more position. As a result, you can see that the breakout will be very strong, right? So the be more volatile and price will continue to add in more demand from this and the price will continue to rally. Okay, so for traders who are more acute, right, to the uh, sensitivity and the sentiment change, you try to break out, buy and break on the swing high and try to capture the uh, next burst of the uh, upside momentum. <clears throat> right, so let's take a look at an example of this uh, pound Aussie daily chart, right, GBP AUD. Right, first the prices break above the recent level, right, tested the level 1.74. This is the major resistance area, the major resistance zone. Right, so you can see again, right, there's a breakout failure in the first two try. Right, prices tested and then pull back test and then pull back so to, for those traders who want to short right they can maybe take some short position at the major resistance zone right using the second strategy which is the uh, breakout failure strategy so they can short the resistance level and try to pull back cover at the support level okay so these are the first two strategy whereby they can utilize right so so after which, for bearish traders who are still shorting, they have to be careful, right? So we can see subsequently the bullish traders will come into play, right? So, so for the gains for the first breakout failure, right? You can see that it's more than the second breakout failure. Okay, so the first breakout failure, it tried to go above this major recent zone. Prices fell, right? This is confirmed by this rig candlestick here right this red candlestick confirmed that this is the first breakout failure then prices fall, fell and then uh, pull back so you can see the pullback is quite quite deep right it's more it's uh right it's quite a sharp pullback down right prices slide all the way down right to almost uh below the uh major recent level and then subsequently there's another green momentum you can see here two green candlestick prices built up and try to rally and break and they try to force itself above the uh, major reason area again but then again it failed so you can see that this these two failure there's uh characteristically uh, there's some fundamental difference you can see that the second breakout the failure pullback is uh it's more shallow compared to the previous one you can see the first one right the pullback is almost all the way where the second one is only about halfway of where the previous pullback is so for those who are more more acute to this kind of sentiment don't change right they know that maybe uh, market is poised for price breakout on the upside okay so that's why now they're trying to buy on the breakout so what happens if you apply the first strategy which is the uh, range range breakouts price action so you can see that how you know that's ranging you can see the candlestick the size is uh, getting smaller and smaller so you get the bodies size is getting smaller and, smaller. and then uh, on a third break right which is confirmed by this green candlestick you, you went above the recent level then prices rally right so you can see from this uh, simple example that you can apply like two or three or four right strategy in one on one chart itself right so from there you know Price action can maybe benefit traders who help them to uh, analyze and um, maybe interpret the chart in a more profitable manner. Okay, so for bullish traders who are long on this uh, third breakout with these uh, green candlesticks, right, you will benefit from the first uh, price action strategy, which is a range breakout strategy. Okay, so this third breakout is assessed compared to the pre previous two breakout, which is fairly tested, pullback tested. You can see the price and then pull back right test and pull back test and pull back so these are two major failure breakout but the third one is successful 
Okay, so this is uh, for Bushir who are on the long on the third breakout, right? So maybe they try the second time, two times they fail, but the third breakout, they uh, recover back all the losses that they may have um, you know, incurred on the first two trades. Okay, so sometimes trading takes a bit of patience and uh, you need to repeat the same pattern again. So when this occur, right, um, for bearish traders who think the price has read too much, you try to short on the uh, green candlestick. So as a result, you can see there's a pullback over on the right side of the chart, right? So prices kind of consolidate and then you have this pullback session. Okay, so uh, this is where traders who will be start on the first breakout will try to buy and um, you know, these are reason to buy. Traders who are still bullish may enter new positions or they may liquidate some position or they may add in more positions. So they may scale in or they may scale out some positions. Okay, so this is the uh, break and pullback session. You can see that this pullback, right, is more shallow compared to the previous strategy where the pullback, where the prices fell back all the way to the uh, right breakout level, which is your uh, resistant turn support level. So for this, it's only a, a, a very shallow pullback. Prices kind of consolidate, but it did not drop all the way back to the breakout level. So this is your pull and break, pull, breakout and uh, pullback uh, price action strategies. Okay. Right. So remember the main difference between this strategy and the previous one is that this uh, right the pullback is more shallow and do not test the uh, breakout level, which is a recent turn le uh, support level. Okay. Okay, so uh, just recap, price breakout of major return level and then it makes the first pullback Then the pullback is shallow and uh, it did not test the breakout level, which is your recent support level. And then uh, after pullback, the range of the candlestick gets smaller and smaller compared to the breakout green candlesticks. So the bullish trader will go along and uh, the price breaks above the swing high and uh, continue to rally up. So this is the uh, break and pullback strategies. So traders who can apply this uh, vice versa for short trade, right? So this is a long trade, right? Buy the pullback for this uh, break and pullback strategy. So next I'll cover the last, uh, the final price action strategy that I use. And it's also one of my favorite, right? Which is a reversal continuation price action strategy. Right, so basically this strategy allows traders to enter, right, possibly at the start of the new trend from bullish to bearish or from bearish to bullish with a possibility of a uh, low risk, uh, uh, you know, uh, probability, okay? So this is your price action reversal continuation price action strategy. Okay, so this uh, reversal continuous strategy, as you can see, right, price action is that it's on uptrend, right? How you know prices in uptrend is that when prices rally on high, high, and higher lows and then uh, hit the major recent level. And then when it tested this recent level, prices fell, right? This is confirmed by a break of a trend line here. You can see in this dotted line. So prices fell and then, um, you know, this is where by uh, and then subsequently you try to rally up again and, uh, you know, but it failed. Right, prices drop. So for, for this to apply this uh, reversal continuation price continuation price action strategy, traders will have to look for this uh, lower low, which is denoted by this uh, red circle here. This is the price action whereby short sellers will try to short at this level to take advantage of the downside slide in the price on the for this uh, reversal continuation pattern. Okay, and this pattern can be seen in this example, this sugar number 11 daily chart. You can see the prices rally up, right? Test the recent level and then prices fell, right? And uh, you can see from here that uh, prices break from the recent level and it breaks a downtrend and then uh, create a low high and uh, prices break out and test the low low and subsequently prices continue to fall. So to apply this strategy, traders will look for this uh, first uh, rally and then uh, try to sell on the downside at this breakout at the lower low of this uh, price action. Okay, so this is where the uh, downside will continue and best traders will jump in to sell the downside. Okay, so this is how the uh, reversal continuation uh, applies. Okay, so to uh, 
Conclusion. All right. So this is a quick recap. So to uh, just a quick recap to what we have learned today. Right. So basically, there are five strategies we covered. The first one, which I mentioned, is your range breakout. Right. This will help traders to find possible high probability breakout trades. The second one, which you touch on, is the breakout failure. This is a uh, uh, possibly a reversal processing strategy, which allows traders to apply a so-called sell high, buy low, or buy low and sell high, depending on which strategy, which side of the trade you want to take. And the third strategy we we'll touch on is the break and test uh, price action for traders. Right, give a trader a second chance to maybe uh, enter on the upside. You can see from this chart, right, in the possible formation and uptrend. And the uh, price action break and pullback strategy, which allows traders to capture majority of the uptrend, or uh, for bullish traders and for downtrend, right, for bearish traders. And the last but not least, uh, one of my favorite strategy is the uh, break and reversal continuation pattern. So this allows traders to uh, enter the market, possible start of a new trend. Right, so these are the five strategies which I touched on today. And uh, next, uh, right, so uh, just recap, these are some of the personalized services that uh, my clients receive from me so that uh, if you do open account, fund account uh, with Philip Futures under my uh, management, you will expect to receive the same level of services from me. Right, so for me, I'll help you to strategize and develop trading, uh, customized trading plan for, for you, and especially for new beginners or for new traders. I'll help you train, plan your trade and also trade your plan, okay? So uh, other than that, um, you also receive uh, SMS, WhatsApp, uh, daily news update for active trader, right? Telegram, we, uh, WeChat, WhatsApp, right? You name it, I have it. So uh, these are some of the platforms that I use to uh, update my clients for useful news and uh, so that you can benefit from the markets. And also provide, provide coaching and uh, training guidance on the MT5, right? And also Nova for traders and both for both new and experienced. Right, and um, and also I conduct the um, portfolio review for your stock portfolio, whether you want to hedge with VFD or futures, right? And uh, also review your Forex and your futures uh, portfolio to optimize your trading returns. Right, and uh, for those who are uh, busy working a day, can I also monitor your position and help you to execute orders right in case you don't access to uh, internet or you're you know, uh, busy with your work. And uh, finally, for those who apply a new funded account by the uh, 8th of May, you'll receive an intensive one-to-one -one coaching session on the advanced price action trading strategies upon the uh, new funded account activation. So this session will be conducted by Zoom on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So you can enjoy a personalized trading session on how to use, use the uh, advanced price action trading strategy, right? Uh, right, because of time constraint, um, I will not be able to teach on more advanced level to uh, uh, on this uh, sophisticated advanced trading platform pattern. Okay, so what are you waiting for? To enjoy all this benefit, please scan the QR code and sign up a live MT5 account after this session to enjoy all these um, benefit and services. Okay, <clears throat> so for those interested to open an account, please find an account by the 8th of May right, to enjoy this uh, free trading. Right, okay, so um, so uh, let's go to the Q and A session. So basically, uh, I have some question usually my clients will ask me, right? And uh, usually the first question they ask me is that uh, it, after they attended my hours of coaching and training, they ask me, uh, Steve, what is price action? Okay, so uh, something we think, uh, what is price action actually? So basically in um, stock market or forex market, right? The price action is where buyers and sellers will transact between each other. So you agree on a price, you'll trade uh, between each other. So this trade is Done between the buyer and seller. So this agreed price is uh, always changing, right? So as a result of these changes, right, there will be a price movement over time, right? So as a result, there's a price action is formed. So there's a price behavior, whether it's bullish or bearish. So price action is actually a study of this kind of price movement, which I did on with, with the five strategies I mentioned, right? To understand what the market is has done in the past and what's doing now and what it might do in the future, right? So the any concern of uh, trading price action is uh, classifying the uh, price movement into the different strategy which I covered today. So we'll take some you know, experience and knowledge. 
Right, so um, another common question is that you asked me is, um, okay, uh, does price action trading work? Yeah, of course it works because uh, traders, what, what is needed is that traders need to gain knowledge and understanding of the what the market has done and what it might do in the future. So it works for explaining what the market is doing now. So it help traders to formulate uh, informed opinion, right? So, uh, which I did for you tonight. So regardless of which method you use, right, uh, you tr to trade the market, right, you will take a bit of hard work and experience, especially if you are new. So uh, this is where my job comes in. I do all the heavy lifting, all the analysis, all the judgment and uh, hard work, right? So my job is to provide you with the expertise, experience to fill your knowledge gap and highlight to you what the market has done in the past and what it's doing now and what it might do and happen in the future so that uh, we can uh, maybe achieve your financial goal with my assistant, okay? So, okay, we have a few questions here from the questionees. Okay, let me see, uh, right. Okay, first question is how is the uh, breakout failure confirmed? Okay, the breakout failure confirmed uh, by candlestick formation. So we can see that if uh, for, for breakout failure on the downside, right, it's confirmed by a red candlestick, a long green candlestick. So it's on the upside is a green candlestick. So what time frame are you looking at? Okay, the time frame looking at is depend on traders whether they want to do intraday trade or swing trading or position trades. So the strategy can be applied across different time frame, right? So of course, if you're looking at a very small time frame, then the chances of this uh, pattern recurring itself will be more 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 frequent. Okay, for stock, does all this price action strategy still valid given the counter is one or two weeks away from X dividend date? Ah, okay, this is a good question. So uh, the price dividend well, depends on the amount of dividend declared and all this. So once the, the, the stock is uh, X dividend, right, the price action itself, the price will be adjusted, right, uh, depending on the amount of the dividend. So you'll be, after XD, there'll be adjustment to the price action and price chart itself. So this is something we need to take charge. But basically, the uh, general shape or the size of the price action uh, will st still remain the same, just that the price itself may have changed right, based on the dividend declared. Okay, so is the break and test as long as a pivot? Okay, this uh, okay is the break and test as long as people okay this one i'm not very sure <laughs> i understand the question uh okay i'll skip this question so i'll try to think about it and i email do you the answer okay miss the beginning is it recorded okay uh, this webinar should be recorded you can um after that you receive the link in the next 24 to 40 hours by email to uh uh to the uh, recorded session so the last one, well, the last question is the price action movement usually manipulated by market makers. Uh, okay, this is uh, okay. Uh, market makers manipulation. Okay, this this question is uh, open to the public to interpret because uh, price action itself um, is a very vast uh, subject itself. So I think it takes more more than the uh, market makers to manipulate the markets itself. So I think it's. Uh, uh, open for interpretation. So for intraday trade, the next question is for intraday trades, use what time frame to provide more accurate analysis? Uh, okay, this is a good question. So again, it depends on traders' experience and uh, and uh, their expertise. So uh, of course, you can engage me, I can share with you more info, but usually they will try to look for a bigger time frame to, to be in sync with a small time frame. So if you're trading a five minute chart, so the traders will need to look at the hourly chart to confirm that whether it is a, the intraday trade is it in on the uptrend or downtrend. So if the the hourly chart is a red candlestick, then maybe possibly uh you know trend maybe on the downside. So on a small time frame, they'll look for short signals. Okay, my impression is that division are praying against the bank. Okay, this okay this is a open question. I have uh, no direct yes or no answer to this. So it's up to you to interpret. Okay, so uh, let me see. Okay, I have other more frequent asked questions like, uh, oh, okay, let me check. Okay, one of the uh, more common questions is that, okay, is price action a form of technical analysis? Yeah, yes, this is of course uh, a form of technical analysis because the user's market data like price, volume, and time, right? So uh, technical analysis is, uh, 
uh, relationship right with price action and price time chart and then uh, some of my clients will attend my course they ask me hey steve uh can uh price action make money or not right so uh is this the best price action strategy that you taught well uh basically generally speaking uh the best price action strategy itself is one that traders have skills and experience to execute properly so even if you know all the knowledge if you execute poorly then you know, I mean, miss the uh, opportunity. So the best strategy for me, right, to me itself is uh, definitely different from yours. So because you need some experience in the marketplace. So especially for new traders, the best so-called quote-unquote best trading price action trade strategy is one that you know you get to learn from it more, so that you can grow as a trader, right. So if you're new to trading, right, um, like I say, you know, I can provide you my expertise, experience, and feeling and knowledge you get about price action trading and help you to jump start your trading endeavor right with this free zoom trading session so that uh, you know so what are you waiting for just scan the qr code at the end of this session and you can start your trading journey with me okay so uh right so the next session is the and define demo right so because of time constraint i'll skip this session so if you really want to have this mt5 demo you can uh, sign an account and can do it conduct this through zoom and i uh, go through the demo with you on the uh, trading with mt5 right so uh, this is the QR code. So do scan me to uh, enjoy the benefits I mentioned earlier. So don't forget to scan the code right, to enjoy this free copy MT5 platform and um, enjoy all the benefit that I provide and also uh, choose and trade with the most advanced trading platform in Singapore. Okay. So if you want fast application process, right, you can apply with your SingPass. So you take as little as five minutes to approve your application. So terms and condition applies, right? So don't forget to scan our codes, right? For new account and uh, MG5 account. Okay. So um, with that, I come to the end of my session. So uh, this is all the time I have for today. Thank you very much again, everybody for your time. You are such a wonderful audience for tonight's webinar. So a link will be of this webinar will be available to you for you know from our follow-up email tomorrow. So if you have any further questions about my webinar or anything about NT5 or about, or about products, you can uh, and would like to start get started simply reply to email and i'll get in touch with you so again this is uh steven ong i'm signing off right once again thank you uh happy trading and uh good night